In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a search campaign the right way using Google Ads Editor. Let's dive in. Okay, so first, you're going to need Google Ads Editor downloaded, obviously, in order to use it. And you're going to then download your account. Now, Google makes it super easy. As soon as you load Google Ads Editor, it's going to ask you to sign in to your account. You'll then link your Google Ads account to Editor, and then it's going to ask you to download that account. Now, you can choose the campaigns you want to download. You can download the entire account. You have the options of doing that. If you're working in a pre-existing account that you've worked in before, such as me in this example, what you do is you hit get recent changes, more data, and then here you can choose all campaigns, you can choose campaigns you've already downloaded, or you can individually select campaigns, right? So here, what I'm going to do is hit this little, these little three buttons there. I'm gonna hit select all, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna hit select active, and then I'm going to hit okay. It is now going to download all of my active campaigns currently at this minute, inside of my Google Ads account that I would see that are enabled if I logged onto Google Ads in the actual interface in, in a browser. Okay, so now my, my campaigns are downloaded and some of these may, well, most, the, most of these names I can keep available um, in regards to not blurring it. I, I was just making sure there's no like confidential information being shown. Okay, so how would I create a campaign inside of Editor? Well, you can do it in two ways. One is you actually work inside of Editor. And that is for a search campaign, I'm simply gonna hit add campaign here. And then it just kind of creates this sort of campaign number eight thing. Yours will, will be different depending on how many campaigns you have. I'm now going to click here. So I, I'm under this manage box, I'm at the campaign level. And this shows me all of my active campaigns. If I change this to like ad groups, it's gonna show me all the ad groups in this field, et cetera. So here I'm gonna to go to campaigns and I'm going to click campaign number eight because this is my new campaign, right? Now, all of your settings are on this right side here. So I'm going to change this to test search. Then just like you have all of your campaign settings when building the campaign out inside of the Google Ads interface, which by the way, I have a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do on this very YouTube channel. So I will link to that video in the description below. I'm not gonna go through all of the settings of creating a campaign. I'm more showing you in this video how to utilize editor, but I'm not showing you the correct way and all the correct settings. So if you want that, you can A, get that from the YouTube videos I have on this channel, especially in regards to search. I have the whole step-by-step -step tutorial on, on creating a search campaign, or I have a group called PPC Copilot where I do Q and A's. I have course material in there. I do ongoing trainings. That link to that group will be in the description below. Again, PPC Copilot, if you want more one-on-one -on -one access to me to be able to ask me questions and get mentored on Google Ads, uh, for further help. So if you want all of that and all the nitty gritty details of doing this correctly, the correct settings and all of that, watch that or, to go, or go join PPC Copilot. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to utilize editor. So in here though, I do want, I'm gonna add my budget and I'm gonna change some of these settings, right? Bid strategy, they have set to max conversions. I'm going to turn this on to max clicks for now, just for this purpose. Don't read into any, of my settings right now. I'm just doing this for the sake of uh, going through some of this. Include search partners. I'm gonna disable, disable, and I'm all good on the rest of that. Location targeting is set to United States. Targeting method, I'm putting people in irregularly in, so I'm changing that, and boom, we're all good, okay? So the campaign shell is built, but there's no ad groups or keywords. So what do I do? Well, now I go to ad group, I add an ad group, so I'm gonna hit test. And then now I need a keyword. I'm gonna add a keyword. So now I'm gonna hit test on my keyword and I'm gonna make it an exact match, okay? Then I'm gonna need an ad, right? So responsive search ad. Well, now I can create a responsive search ad. So I would go through headline one and then you have to have three. So I would do test one, test two, test three, Test one for my descriptions, test two. 
So there's my descriptions and then a final URL, test.com. And boom, I have an ad now, right? I'm literally done. Now, obviously <laughs> this campaign would do nothing for me because I've just filled out a bunch of test data, but how would I actually post this now? I simply am just gonna hit this post button at the top right corner and then it's gonna be selected campaigns because this is the campaign that I just built. And now you see, you can kind of see what changes will be made. So it's gonna say, it's creating one campaign, one ad group, one keyword, one location targeting, which would be in the United States in this case, one responsive search ad. All I do is hit this blue post button and boom, it uploads it into my actual Google ads account that I would see if I were in the interface in the browser, right? Now, make sure if you do this, you go and triple check every setting in that campaign inside of the interface because editor, it a lot of people work quick within it and then make mistakes. And, and so you always want to triple check every campaign setting in the interface after you post this. Okay, that is how you set this up within just Google Ads Editor. I'm gonna show you an even faster way by using a Google Sheet, so let's do that. Okay, I am in our Google Ads Editor campaign upload template. This is available to the members of PPC Copilot in our resource section. If not, I'm sure there's templates online or you can kind of look at the headlines here if you would want to create this. So it's kind of like a shopping feed. It's attributes that you're filling out that Google knows. So you have to, you know, you can't mess with these campaign, or sorry, these column header titles because that would screw everything up. So. Google knows what campaign means, it knows what targeting method means, it knows what network means, so you can't mess with any of that just like a shopping feed. The attribute has to be set accordingly to how Google will read it. But you can now build all of this out in a sheet, copy and paste, upload into editor, good to go. So it's super, super fast if you know what you're doing. So here I've got campaign, right? Campaign type, my campaign status. I've got budget, budget type, networks, and then a few other settings I like. I have my ad group. I have a bid strategy type. Now, I start with max clicks in the template because it's just the easiest bid strategy to use for this template. I will show you how to edit that once we're back in editor, just like I showed you when you're building a campaign inside of editor. And then we have our responsive search ad with some headlines uh, and descriptions filled out. So here, I am simply going to copy th these attributes here. I'm gonna go into editor, and there's two ways of going about it. A, you can go into make multiple changes and paste here, or you can go into account, you can go into import paste text. And so I'm just gonna do that. This brings me to the paste text feature. Then I'm going to go through and make sure everything looks good, and it does, and then I'm just gonna hit process. Okay, so now it says, hey, you've changes made. One ad, one campaign, one ad group, one responsive ad. I'm gonna hit finish and review. You'll notice it's highlighted in this blue color. And that's because Google's proposing some changes. So I'm going to go through and I'll sort of flag those, right? And, I, and so first let's go at the campaign level, I'm gonna choose this new one that I just pasted in, right? It's called search test. And here, there's a few things then, some of this stuff you can just sort of ignore, like include search partners, include display network, just like Google does when you build out a campaign inside of the interface, it wants you to get pushed into some of these greedy settings that they have. So I'm just gonna, you can ignore those or you can ignore this stuff at the bottom like I'm going to. I'm just checking my settings real quick though. So I have my budget, it's fine. The campaign's paused, it's on max clicks, which is fine for now. And then are we targeting? So this is something that Google's gonna be proposing because I didn't add targeting, right? So why didn't I add targeting? Well, because of the way some of those attributes are set up. It auto-suggested the United States. So I'm actually okay with that. And then it's auto-suggesting, and then I'm checking my responsive search ad here real quick too. Everything looks, everything looks fine to me. This is exactly what I set up not missing any attributes, so we're good there. Now, it added, remember in my actual sheet, I don't have the United States in here, so it's auto-suggesting that, which is part of the reason why it's proposing some of those changes. That's fine. And then ad group, it's saying I need a default max sort of CPC in here, even though I'm on max clicks, so I'm just gonna do that anyways. 
but otherwise, Everything looks good. So just gonna review this one more time uh, through this. And we're good. So I'm just gonna hit then keep all. And so we're all set. Now, I don't have keywords, right? And the reason being is because keywords you kind of want to upload or need to upload separately if you're building a full campaign out in this structure. So we have this keyword template here too. It's very simple. The, the attributes you need here though are, you do need to specify the campaign and ad group that you want the keyword going into. And then here we have the match type. They call it something different in the attribute. It's not called match type there. So here I have search test is the campaign I just built. Ad group is test. Keyword is I'm gonna add is test. And I want an exact match. So all I'm doing now is hitting this. And obviously I don't need to do this if I'm just adding one keyword, I could easily do it here. But in this case, all I'm gonna do is make multiple changes, set here, or even just to show you, even if I did it at the campaign level and I go to this account, import, paste text, and then I hit paste. So campaign, ad group, keyword, and then the match type, and then process. This will now, so I'm gonna hit finish. This will now show me the keyword that's in here. So, so I don't need this, I can keep all, we're all good there. And again, we're on a max click bid strategy right now for that. So there you go. All I did is built this out real quick in a sheet, I'm a Google sheet through a template that we have, copied and pasted everything in. You just double check the settings here. And then just like before, you're gonna hit post. You're gonna make sure, okay, cool. We got campaign, ad group, keyword, location targeting, responsive search ad, boom, hit post. And again, as soon as that post into your live account that you would log into in, a, in the browser, triple check all the settings or that way you make sure you don't add or have mistakes that get added. So don't just rely on editor, always triple check everything once you post it live in your account or are you gonna spend some real money on it? Okay, there you go. You now know how to use Google Ads Editor to create a search campaign the right way, either manually using Editor or doing the nifty trick of using a sheet, copy and pasting, and then importing in. Hope you got great value from this. Again, if you want more one-on-one -on -one mentorship from me, my courses, my training, go check out PPC Copilot. The link to that group will be in the description below. I would love to see you inside it and upgrade your Google Ads knowledge. If you don't want any of that and you just want some experts to take a look at your account, we do that too. Have my team here at Grow My Ads do a free audit. If you qualify, we will look at your account, give you recommendations, practical recommendations on how to improve your results. So if you don't want to spend more time learning and you just need some experts to get under the hood to help you, with your account today, go get a free audit. The link to go get that free audit will be in the description below. So go check that out. And if you don't want any of that, that's fine too. I'll see you on the next video.